Warte, jetzt hier rein. When I'm about 21, I can be a world champion. On July the 14th, 2007, Amir Khan was crowned lightweight champion of the Commonwealth at the age of just 20. Cheers, thanks very much. His victory over Willie Limond was the 13th running of Khan's fledgling pro career. It was hard earned. British boxing's greatest young hope had been required to dig deeper than ever before. Limond had knocked Khan down in round six. He'd exposed a rawness a tactical naivety. Get your hands up! But Amir's recovery had underlined his explosive talent and his unwavering self-belief. Youngest world champion, that's what I'm aiming for, you know what I mean? It's my ambition being the youngest world champion. Some urge caution. Amir Khan has always been a fighter in a hurry. At 17, Amir Khan won Britain's only boxing medal at the Athens Olympics. Nine months later, the boy from Bolton was set to become a legend in more than just his own living room. I made you a Bruno, so you're all right. Thank you very much. <laughs> a hyperactive child, Amir had been introduced to boxing at eight by his father Shah, aware his son needed a focus for his special energy. This is just a small collection of his trophies. This, <laughs> this is the medal from Athens, the silver medal. We see our haircut shop. It's called Cool Cuts. At that age, 17 year old going there and what he did was incredible, you know. We, in the back of our mind, we always thought he's capable of bringing something back from Athens. I have to pass my driving. All my friends are driving about in nice cars and everything else. And I have to walk or catch the bike or the bus. <laughs> I want a Porsche 911. Turbo, isn't it? Just before I'm world champion. Before? Oh, no. I think, I think when I'm world champion, I should get it. Amir looks at it and he said it should have been a goal, really. This is our local takeaway, this is. That's where I got all my food from and stuff. The chip, The right? unhealthy food, yeah. Sometimes <laughs> I, I have to treat myself now and then. He's like a role model to everybody, really. You know, our community, Asian community. What he's achieved, I mean, obviously he's achieved for Great Britain, you know, and, and he's proud of that. Uh, that silver medal that he brought back. And um, we're all proud of it. Best haircut you give me, man. <laughs> my name's Jack. Yeah, Jack, hey, Jack, how you doing? You all right? Good lads. I do it, I do it, yeah. Right. We're his boys, we're his fans, we're everything to him. We're his boys from school. <laughs> Go in. <laughs> <laughs> Only the exceptional Mario Kinderlan, a double Olympic champion, had denied Khan gold in Athens. In three days, Amir would face the Cuban in a rematch. The sport of boxing was a back page lead again. The question was, would it be Amir's last fight as an amateur. What I think the public don't understand is a normal human lad. He's not God, he's a boxer. He's got the talent and he works hard at it. It's like anything, don't matter how much talent you've got, if you don't put the work into it, you don't become a champion. Mick Jelly had masterminded Amir's rise from area champion to Olympic final. You start off at balls and he prepared him for Kinderland, unsure if this would be their final week together. I've had a few lads turn professional. Never advise them to turn professional. Yes. Do it. Do it. Do it. Because he's won the lottery. It was a big decision, you know what I mean? Turning professional from the amateurs because I love the amateurs. It was about not going to the next Olympics. They said to me, look, so why don't you wait for four years and win the gold medal, whereas I know I can, in four years' time as a professional, I can be a world champion. Amir's amateur grant added up to 300 quid a week. The suitors for his pro signature formed a queue with blank checks. There's offers around the world. Give me some names. Can't give you names. De La Hoya? Golden Boy Promotions made an offer to you, is we've that right? Made, we've, had, we've had a few, yeah, I mean, of a lot of people. A lot of people. And um, we just sat down, and it was a big, it was a big decision. You know what I mean? About a lot of people wanted us to go to America and fight there, but I don't want to do that. You know what I mean? I want to set the base in England first. The night before the Kinderland fight, 
Amir signed professional terms with Frank Warren. I knew the downfall of an amateur that I could break a hand a week before the Olympic Games. What's going to happen then? <laughs> Every time I box, the show, what the show is it? If anyone can, can, can. can. Who's the man? Can, the man. <laughs> He's ready. He's ready. Ooh. Hello, good evening. It has been a while, but ITV Sport is back in the ring. And what a comeback. The future just couldn't be brighter for this young man. And he's away. Everything had been a bonus in Athens. On his final night as an amateur, Khan needed to make a winning impression. Khan getting in close with a good flurry towards the end of this round. Don't switch off now. Now's the danger. Don't He's hunting him. He's stepping up the pace. He scored with a good right hand as Khan. What a great shot there. 18 year old Amir Khan dethrones a legend. Four. The red corner! Come on! Easy than we thought, man. <laughs> That's I, I, fantastic. I had the hardest spot last week. Yeah. Sorry, mate. <laughs> oh, I think I should get the gold medal now, innit? <laughs> no, uh, Kinlan deserves a gold medal then, but um, I think. Um, I beat the best in the world, and no one can take that away from me now. There's nothing left for him. There's absolutely nothing left for him in the amateur game. His ultimate was to beat Mario Kindle. If he hadn't beat him tonight, it was a possibility he might have gone to Cuba. But I think now there's nothing there for him, I don't think. We've done everything in the amateur game now. There's, it's time to turn professional now. Mario, champion del mundo. Seguro. Si ya me ganó a mí, le gano a cualquiera. I think he says you're going to be champion of the world. Thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's time to become a world champion, become a legend, just like Muhammad Ali, and um, go to Las Vegas now and box the best. First things first, the raw surroundings of a Salford gym would be Amir's place of work. Oliver Harrison would be his coach. The first date had been made. In a month, Khan would become the youngest Olympic medalist to make his pro debut. I train every day now. I do longer rounds, spar more, and do a lot more pads. So it's like a job for me, you know. At the end of his time in the amateurs, Amir was a fighter to be dodged. Now it was the opposite. The experienced David Bailey had been given the prized fight. How many percent stronger is Amir Khan? Another 50. You're kidding me. I swear, yeah, a lot stronger. Um, I remember sparring with my opponent, one, one of my um, old sparring partners, and he said, I mean, he's punching a lot harder. So, yeah, it shows. His style wasn't conducive to professional boxing uh, in that he was more of a sort of a fencer in and out, very fast hands, could, could, had explosive power, but really depended on speed. But I, I always felt that he had the ability to learn things very quickly. You know, athletic intelligence allows you to do that. 